What's up guys? My name is Mark Semmery. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to RC Vlog. Guys, we are back for a Tech Tuesday and today I am going to teach you guys how to calculate how long your LiPo battery will last in your RC car. So you bought your RC car, now it's time to buy batteries and you have all different types of options between 3000 milliamps and 10,000 milliamps. All the guy tells you is the, the bigger the milliamps, the more the milliamps, the longer your battery will last. But there's no way to actually tell how much time a battery will last without doing a little bit of testing. So I get the question all the time, will my 5,000 or 6,000 milliamp battery last for a 10 minute race? Well, there's just too many variables involved. Is the battery new? Usually if the battery is new, it lasts longer than a like worn out used battery. How do you drive? I know some guys who drive really, really hard and they can't last seven minutes on a battery. How big's your track? What are the track conditions like? What kind of motor, what kind of ESC are you running? There's just too many barrels, but I'm gonna teach you guys an equation so you can figure it out yourself. All right, so we're gonna do a little math here. I busted out the old whiteboard here so we can go over it. So basically this is the formula you wanna use. Let's see if you can see that okay. Um, so you wanna use this formula right here, basically runtime over milliamps, and then set up a proportion to figure out what's your total runtime based on how big your battery, how big your battery size is. So. In this particular case, I went club racing the other day, had a great time. I ran the budget truck, by the way. I will put a link in the eye above to the budget truck. It's a truck that I barely spent any money on, a relatively cheap race vehicle. And I ran a 5,000 milliamp Gen Zace battery, and I'll put a link in the description below for that battery. And I ran a 10 minute race with, <laughs> with a 5,000 milliamp battery and an e-truggy. I didn't think I could do it, but there was only way to find out and was to do some math before I actually ran my main, that way I didn't run out of battery in my main. Anyways, so I ran a six minute, six minute total. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna charge your battery all the way up and you want to start a timer as soon as you get on the track. So with a warm up and, let's glare on it. All right, with the warm up and uh, the race, a qualifier, I was on track for six minutes and 35 seconds and that after you are on the track and you you counted that time pull your battery out and charge it up and then take the number of milliamps that you've charged back into your battery and write that down so in this case after six minutes and 35 seconds i charged my battery 1940 milliamps your charger should tell you how many milliamps it put back in your battery after you charge it so that is my ratio right there so you set up a proportion we're going a little mathy here and basically, I had to convert it to seconds, so 195 seconds, which is 6 minutes and 35 seconds, over 1,940 milliamps. And then the full capacity of the battery is here, 5,000 milliamps, and you want to solve for this number right here. So the way you solve for this number right here is you multiply 5,000 by 395, and then divide it by 1,940, and then you get that number right there. All right, I moved some lighting around because there was lots of glares and that, that neon light back there makes this weird like radiating look. Anyways, so 5,000 times 395 is 1,975,000. Then you take that number, divide it by 1940 and you get 1,018. That's how many seconds. Convert those seconds into minutes. That's 16.96 minutes which is equivalent to 16 minutes and 57 seconds. So that's the seconds I saw for that number. And then I converted that number into minutes, which is 16, 57. You guys follow me? Cause I'm losing myself here. All right. So the main I ran was about 12 minutes. I say it's about 12 minutes cause I had a warm up lap. And then after the race is over, I finished the lap that I'm on. So it was about 12 minutes. So that 12 minutes is 70% of 16 minutes and 57 seconds. So it was exactly seven, I used 70% of my battery in that main. Now the crazy part is I did check my battery after I was done with the race and I had 28% left of my battery. So basically this, this equation worked to a T, um, set up a figure out, again, go on the track, figure out how long you ran, time it, find out how many milliamps you put in a battery, set up a proportion here based on how big your battery is, get that number on how many seconds you run, convert it into minutes, and that's how long your car will run. Well, I hope some of y'all found this video useful. If you did, please smash the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.